It's illegal. He said it was illegal to bring mangoes from the south Whoa. to the north in the Philippines. Which I don't understand because Cebu mangoes are literally sold everywhere in the Philippines. <laughs> I don't think we could have asked for a better place to stay after such a long journey. What our our transportation and everything from Singapore started at 1 a.m. 9 p.m., 8 p.m., five hour flight, then fly from Singapore to Manila, wait two hours, three hours, fly from Manila to Puerto Princesa, get in a van, take a van for five hours, but we have made it oh, I, to oh. El Nido. And we are in El Nido for a very specific reason, to do a four day, very remote island hopping trip from El Nido to Caron. But we got this amazing accommodations. I also said that we are going to Lina Pakan. Lina Pakan. Exactly, it is the remote, remote, remote that the typical boat tour in El Nido, if you book tour A to B to C, it doesn't take you there. So we are going there in order to see the remote part of the Philippines. So these are like full blown huts on the beach that we're gonna be sleeping on the beach. And just, I've never experienced anything like this. I didn't even know it was possible. So when Keluma contacted us and asked us if we wanted to come join them on a trip, we said yes. And we got Haley with us again. So if you've watched our videos from Kazakhstan, uh, you know Haley Dasovich, and she's here. She's gonna be hopping the islands with us for the next four days. Can I say something now? Go ahead. 
just uh, just post on Instagram and ask guests where where we are. And it's such a such a how can I say balancing competition, like almost the same. Like fifty one percent Indonesia. Forty. Bleh, we're wrong. Forty nine percent the Philippines. It's like eh. It's like. We had the opportunity to stay at the apartments El Nido, and this place is absolutely phenomenal. Like what? One bedroom, a living room, full kitchen, boom, a second bedroom, another TV, and then the bathroom. And the girlfriend. And the girlfriend. That is never on time, hurry up. <laughs> If you want to stay here a while, you have a pool, you have full security, you have a full kitchen and living room area. It actually feels like a home in this area, in this apartment complex, and they are brand new. So it's definitely something to check out if you're interested in staying here a little bit longer. I mean, living in a place like this, you could stay Why? here. You could stay here a long time and feel very comfortable. We got to make our way to the van terminal to start this crazy adventure. To be back in trike land. Love it. I really, really enjoy getting around like this, especially in the early mornings. It's amazing. This isn't necessary, but it's so nice traveling with somebody that speaks Tagalog. <laughs> Like, this is my first time ever being with somebody that actually speaks to God. I'm always like, uh, playing charades, trying to figure it out. Yeah. So guys, we're just gonna get some drinking water along the way. Okay. But we are now on the opposite side of El Nido, and this is where Keluma actually takes off. Actually, last year when we originally came to El Nido, it was like kind of a letdown because there was so many boats in Big Lagoon and Small Lagoon, but now they've actually implemented a limit. So there's no like third party tourist boats that will take you to the islands. There's only a certain amount of tickets that are let out. So it's nice that they're implementing these things in order to, you know, maintain that beautiful scenery. So, we probably should have gotten this while we were in El Nido, but Ta is trying to make sure she's not going to get seasick, so we're searching for some seasick pills, I mean, but we're in a very rural up, yeah. area, honey. Six. Yeah, it's 18 pesos. Yeah. Okay. Six? Yeah, six. So it's called Bonamin. <laughs> like, you wanna... Oh my god! Oh, I've missed this so much. The smell of salt water. Oh. I'm ready, guys. They got the bathroom right here too, so I gotta change. With some bikini. This is a huge boat. So normally your island hopping tours are in quite quite small boats. Um, just the benches and the floor, but this has an underground cabin, a kitchen, huge area with beanbag chairs. I'm not gonna be in a bad mood today. <laughs> You're gonna be in a good mood because you got coffee. Like a pea, a pea. Oh, it smells so good. Oh. This is torturing because I feel hungry already. How long I have to wait? One hour? It's, it's too 
it's midday right now in Palawan and we have to place to ourselves not a single person stops today before we actually make it to the beach and camp out for the night. <laughs> okay, uh, Pastor, you want to Ah, hello, Mom, Sir, hello, everyone. Welcome to the first day of tour and welcome to the Kilo Ma. Uh, for now, we, for your lunch, we have uh, four kinds of different dishes. And then we have the big fish. Uh, that fish, uh, talak in Tagalog. I don't know what that's in English. And we have fruit. The fruit, uh, golden melon. This is Just only one. in Palawan, right? Yeah. And for your drinks, mom, we have uh, orange squash, we have the Sprite, we have Coke, and we have some beer there at the box if you want. Good job. Uh. Bye. Thank you, mom, sir. Oh, just realized you guys don't use chili. Uh, don't put chili in the sauce. No, oh. Filipinos don't eat spicy yeah. food. Oh, you want some? I can get something with chili for yes, you. Yes, actually. Uh, yeah, it would be nice. Does, Thank anyone, you. does everyone take chili because we can? Yeah. yeah. Put I'm so shocked. I've never seen yellow watermelon <laughs> until today. Apparently it's it. apparently it's only in Palawan, so it's it's really really sweet though. It's really good. We're very appreciative of the time you've given us to enjoy this beautiful boat. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Dude, these mussels are so good. Wow. Oh my oh. god. So then, you don't eat fish. No. I eat mussels though. But you eat, do you eat pork? Yes. Yeah. You eat pork. Yeah. I don't eat pork, pork but I'll, eat I'll eat his share of fish and, okay. and vice versa. I eat everything. Okay, fine. I'm really... Don't not cook something because of me. Cook no, no, no. It's just, I'm trying to make sure that there's something for everyone. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, there's rice. <laughs> hey, Mom! So remote. Okay, I don't know, I don't understand what's happening right now. It's like getting better and better. Every island we go to. Now we're at a very, very, very remote island. But it's got a sand bar. Look how beautiful. Yeah, sure. But I'll tell us I can nobody. <laughs> oh my god, look at all the stars. Oh man! To me, phone! It's okay, we have a lot of the. Yeah. I got it, don't worry. Yeah, just tag it. <laughs> well, guys, this is amazing. Oh, uh, happy! This is the first campsite that we've been to, so we're gonna be three nights, four days. So we'll do three different campsites along three different islands, all the way from El Nido to Koran, and we have reached the first island of the indigenous people. Oh no! I'm definitely gonna need to charge tomorrow. You wanna on the light? There's no power yet. So this is where we're staying tonight. Very, very traditional. Mosquito, mos mosquito net, fan, and no lights, nothing 
extra. But if you want a really local, traditional experience, I don't think it gets much better than this. Dude, even because it's so windy, yeah, it's we are right by the beach. I don't need AC. I would rather just get the breeze from the ocean and just listen to a wave crash. Oh my god, this is perfect for me already. I don't need AC at all. They only actually have generator power for a little bit of the night. Just enough for us to charge some camera batteries and fill the buckets of water with the pump. And then use the lights a little and bit and then you're good. It's just, it's just a great feeling for me to be able to walk without shoe. I love it. And there's our home away from home. Well, guys, so right now we are at Kalibang Pangan. Kalibang Pangan. Kalibang Pangan. Kalibang Pangan is basically the the island that is owned and resident by the indigenous people called Takpangwa, which is um, the group of people who live in Palawan region. The government restricted to be only the island for right, these time. people. Anyway, um, we, we will stay one night here on this island. Oh, they got a campfire over there. Maybe they're bringing the trash. Yeah. <laughs> well, they got enough to have a fire for a month. Huh? I know. I literally don't think we could have gotten a better sunset. Like that. Could, after the sun had set, the colors are just unreal. Yeah, that is insane. The colors and the clouds are just amazing behind this little pier. Huh? Yeah. It's really glassy right now. Super calm. There's only two like little kid little fishing boats on the outside and there's just floating and swimming so we'll make it up in the morning for sunrise but right now I think we're just gonna get some food and enjoy this night we have sus oh, awesome sorry thank, thank you so much thank you 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 Red metal. That's beautiful. Look at this. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> it's not spicy. We. Oui. Huh? Really? <laughs> nope, nope. I think too is spicy now. No. Nope. For me. <laughs> too spicy for you? Yeah. Oh, Filipino doesn't need those spicy those food. Those yeah. are hot. Filipinos eat Those chilies are really hot. Vinegar, salty. Yeah, salty for sure. <laughs> Shrimp one is okay. Anchovies one is a very strong, strong smell. Oh yeah. Todd, don't talk to me about burn. Huh? Your burn isn't burn. My burn is pancake fried. What is it? Yum. Is that the name of the food? Or Syrup. Ooh. Getting fancy with it. This morning. Oh, they already cooked it. It's right here. Like, morning. You guys are good. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Lies, what's up? I put only cream in yours. Thank you. You want coffee? Yeah. You like it? That was an absolutely phenomenal way to spend the first night and wake up in the morning. And honestly, it's the first time me and Tav actually had a relaxing no, no, morning. It's the first time we've had a relaxing morning to just take our time because we have no internet. So it's really, really That's enjoyable. a must needed though. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you just gotta take a break. <laughs> Definitely. Here, I wash my hair. I don't even need a hair dryer. You excited for day two? Naturally. I'm excited. We have three more days. Thank you, guys. <laughs> but so we have four more guests coming today to join for the next three days, and we're excited. We're gonna meet new people, all from different regions of the world, and enjoy this three new camps, two more camps that are actually theirs. We're gonna stay in the same camp for the next two nights. It's our lunch! Yay! Yay! I'm it. I love it! Speaking of island life. Oh, 
Now you know good thing is ahead us. This is like pure glass. And I will put this trip on number one right now. We have experienced so many beautiful things that we have never imagined that wow, Philippines have it's beyond like day one. Dude, I know, but like the definition of beauty that Philippines give to us is like the whole new level. Second day or so. Then uh, later we can go to the camp, our camp. And for now we have uh, four guests. Uh, welcome. Kiloma. I hope you enjoy. Hello, uh, we can start with the. Uh, here, uh, here ma, we have uh, seaweeds. Seaweeds with uh, onion and tomato. Come on, are you ready? Woo! 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 So because we're not sure, we can only bring a little bit of stuff. But of course, we have to bring our camera bags to recharge batteries. But we have arrived at day two's camp. Salamat! Salamat po! How do you guys feel? Oh! Refreshed, replenished, rejuvenated. Hello! <laughs> Just to take a five minute walk. Okay. Cool. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 In this very rural village, yeah. on beachfront with puppies, <laughs> amazing puppies <laughs> everywhere. So I'm sleeping with you. I know in this bag, but it's a hunt boat. <laughs> our house, guys. This is our house. <laughs> Can you? What? So they're gonna. They have uh, oh, pillows, so blankets, mattresses, and Mus mosquito net. and mosquito nets. The most important yes. thing. But you have an entire island lined with coconut trees. This is incredible. This is the best place I've ever stayed. And the ocean's right there. Literally. Okay guys, introducing the kitchen. Whoa, look at that. This is amazing. It's literally getting back to the basics and just staying in a hut like camping on a very, very local and traditional island that there's really not much, which is exactly what you want. Sometimes, I mean, in 2019, you have very few chances that you can absolutely completely disconnect. So being able to come out here, see how happy people are with what they have and not have influence by these things right here is actually quite phenomenal and Should enjoyable. Should we connect to the internet right now? No. No. Not there's no all. internet. No internet at all. There's Perfect. power all night to charge batteries and to get some lights, but that's really all you need. Just a generator, some gasoline, campfire, the beach, and some beautiful huts. Hello! Oh my god! This is like Australian thing. <laughs> Ooh, you got your own hat! Yeah, oh, and, and the view, it's like trees, hammocks, oh, sea. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> That's such a cool experience. That's lovely. My parents would love this place. I'm going to try to get them to go on this tour. 
Yeah, amazing. This they is our first time actually doing this. Yeah. We love the Philippines! Sus, you know all. Oh. Yes. My English English style. Konti lang yung alam ko. Meanwhile, in the kitchen. What are you cooking tonight? Uh, fish. Chicken and vegetables. Fish. Yeah. Chicken and Uh, you know the tamarind powder? Yeah. Sinigang. Yeah. All yeah. of the body. Okay. Wow. Inside and out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now we have the. Yeah, we have the tuna. I love the yeah, that's it. Thank okay. you so much. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. It's like southern fried greens, right? Yeah, right? It's like that's colored greens. I, yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. Wow, that looks beautiful with the moon in the back. That's If only you really woke up like this. So they basically like raised the house up a little bit so then the air can blow under the house. So it's kind of like make the wind flow, make it more ventilating, make it more cool down, make it nice and comfortable to sleep in. Right off the boat, the boat rode up to our boat, sold three kilos of squid. Boom. Calamari night. Calamari for Calamari. days. Calamaris. We're good for Calamari. <laughs> Patrick? Yes. What can. do we cook tonight? Uh, tonight we can do the. Oh. Calamari? Yeah, calamaris. <laughs> calamaris, not calamari. Calamaris. Calamaris. Okay. Calamaris, uh, cuttlefish, not squid. Okay. And tomorrow we can do the uh, uh, cuttlefish with uh, uh, coconut milk. Oh, yum. That's amazing. I don't know, it doesn't get much more fresh than that. Yeah. This is the freshest. Yeah. 
That's a squid. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, oh. Look at that ass. <laughs> oh. Let me twerk for you while you're at it. There you go. Bloody twerks. <laughs> Bloody twerks. <laughs> no, we were free. We were at the shelf, like the coral shelf, and we were free diving through this, like, this coral shelf underneath it and there was like a cove and if with fins you could make it down there but on the way up Haley clipped it with her butt cheek so we'll, we'll roll that clip right now <laughs> we'll roll that so everything here you come here is for me personally is like a full detox so I don't touch the I don't touch I touch the phone I touch the phone guys so basically to record, I, to record things but I don't really like connect to the internet I don't connect to, I don't check Instagram I don't check Facebook I don't check anything so we get away from you guys for like four days and three nights unfortunately but <laughs> it is a nice detail but if you think about it that out of 364 uh, 365 days a year that you have and then you just have four days off that you completely get away and live in this kind of lifestyle it's just like nothing compared to 364 I always say 364 say I 365 days in a year so for me personally I love it getting back to the basic like this is something that you rarely find in the world nowadays that like everything go quick 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 welcome home honey Yay. It's very soft inside, it's crispy out, and you got um, syrup, so good. So, it's so bad I didn't take my GoPro. Not too sweet, so like good. What an absolutely eventful day. That was the wrap of day three on our trip from El Nido to Koran. So, this is the guy, the caretaker. And every morning, every night, he has to fill up the bucket so then we all can shower. Salam Apo. So, I'm gonna try this. Uh, first, uh, cuttlefish uh, calamares. Big grape. Oh, Ooh. it's not a nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh. I'm just curious. I think um, it's part of the seaweed. Yeah. Fish it. Fish it, fish it. Oh! I'm camera shy. He's like, ooh, will be on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh! Oh my god, that's like, This is so soft! Oh! <laughs> How does it feel like? It tickles! 
the glitch of the camel! What did you just find out? Ah. It's a big one. There's two of them. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> You're the only brave one with your hand up. Dog. <laughs> hey, doggy, doggy, doggy. No, it's like a, the way the mermaid, mermaid called the friends. Salamat po. Salamat po. It's our last day. Oh. Good morning. You got this one. So today, Patrick, Ashi, and Dexter, they cook two more things extra. Mainly the meal on the boat is basically fish for sure, grilled fish. We have unicorn fish two days in a row. And unicorn fish is like become my favorite fish ever. And also we have grilled chicken, which is like a typical thing. Must have main dish on the boat is fish and chicken, grilled fish and grilled chicken. And we are eating at the sand bar today! Not calamari. Calamari. Calamaris. Okay. Cuttlefish, <laughs> uh, calamaris. Mm. Uh, only crispy pie, no cornstarch. Or okay. we call it harina. Yeah. But until until about May, so it's gradually gonna go. 